Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. We're doing the NBA playoff picks. Now, right now the Heat game is still going on, it's at halftime. I'm going to um, give my review on that. Um, my picks on the if the Heat do win or the Bulls win, I'll give my picks on the Celtics on series. And then also the next one will be uh, Pelicans and Kings, who are win that, will play the Thunder. So I'll get my picks on that too, so that would be at the end of this video. But starting off first, I'm going to go with the Nuggets and Lakers. And that series is going to be a very interesting series. You know, the Nuggets swept the Lakers last year in that um, Western Conference Championship. But this time the Lakers got a little bit more you know, pizzazz to them. I feel like they got a little more fight and fire to them. But I'm still taking the Nuggets, though. The Nuggets, I feel like... You know, they're looking at the repeat. They're trying to go back, back to back, repeat. Yoga just playing at a high level. Might be a three time EP this year. It's an amazing player, phenomenal player, and he's just firing on all cylinders. The Lakers have the opportunity and the chance to go out there and compete and to go out there to try to, like, you know, win it and make it a good series, interesting series, but they just got to come with it. They can't handle one of those games where they like, not going with it or people getting injured as well. I know Anthony Davis got injured. Um, he had some back spasms a couple of games ago, but last game he played and LeBron played. And they handled business against the Pelicans in the late um, stages of the game. But I'm thinking the Nuggets will probably go out there and defeat the Lakers. I don't know what the series is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be within six or seven or something like that, but I feel like the Lakers actually play with the force of nature they've been playing with. Um, of late, as of late, no, um, really to the end of the season, I think the Lakers should... Um, be able to push it at least push it the series like that. But I got the Nuggets winning it. Um, Knicks and 76ers. I got the um 76ers winning that one. Now the Knicks is a good team. I love Jalen Bronson. Jalen Bronson is very feisty, mighty mouse. And going out there making plays. Um, you know his two point scoring ability, playmaking ability. Uh, he just go out there. He's a good leader, true leader. But I like the way the 76ers are structured. They have more size, and they also have Joel Embiid. I know he's dinged up a little bit, but he's still a fighter, and he's still one of the best players in this um, league, top five player. And I think Joel Embiid getting healthy at the right time. Tyrese Maxey, the way he's been playing all season, probably one of the most, probably the most improved players as well. And he's an all-star this year, averaging, what, 26, 27 points per game. I think the 76ers go out there and win this. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. It could be pushed to six or seven, probably most likely seven, because the Knicks will be going out there and fighting, because the Knicks are very good defensively. But I think... The um the Seventy Sixers win this one um against the Knicks. Moving on to the Clippers and Mavs. Clippers and Mavs is a good one. They're gonna be a good one right there. You know, Clippers and Mavs have faced each other off. I said faced off, faced each other off. Faced off against each other. I think the past what two? I think the past three of uh, out of the past four or five years. I know that in the bubble in the bubble they played each other. Where the Clippers won, they played each other before. Where the Clippers won, I think one time the um. The Mavericks beat the Clippers, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or something happened. But the Clippers and Mavs have been going back at it for you know, a lot of these times like that. So I, I, I could be mistaken, but I think they played play many times, though, in the playoffs, especially in the first round. And Luka has a disdain for the Clippers. Every time he played them, I think ever since Marcus Morris smacked him in the back of his head, he's been um, having like a type of vengeance, a type of grudge against the Clippers. And the Clippers are a good team, too. They're a star-studded team. I know, I know after the bye week, they kind of lost a little steam, but they kind of picked it back up at the close to the end of the um, year. They're 4C right, right now. I think the Clippers find a way to get it done. I think the Clippers win. I don't know if it's in 6 or 7, but the Clippers win. I love Luka Doncic. I love Kyrie Irving. They can go out there and score with the best of them. But defensively, the Mavericks have never not been – up, up there, you know, like that defensively. Rebounds wise, I mean, it was a team that's not been up there, and also defensively. But they've been able to outscore teams, kind of like the Indiana Pacers play a little bit. The Pacers play in a way where they're going to go out there and try to outscore you. I think the, um, the Lakers, not the Lakers, I think the um, Mavericks can go out there and probably make it, you know, hey, go out there and try to make it like some, some type of game where, they, where they, they're not going out there and forcing it, where they're just going out there and just, you know, you know, like just like. Trying to like maybe maybe trying to like go inside and attack because I know the, the Clippers have a lot of depth around the perimeter, a lot of perimeter guys. Terrence Mann, James Harden, of course, on um, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Like Kawhi, Paul George, and Terrence Mann are you know, some good defenders. You know, uh, Terrence Mann, solid defender. James Harden, at times he can be a solid defender, but sometimes you know he don't really play as much defense um, throughout his career. But I think the Mavericks, if they find, try to find a way to maybe like try to keep um, them on their toes, no fast breaks, and let them um, Kyrie and and Luka do what they do, the killer duo, they can probably have a chance, but they slow the game down and get and play in the Clippers type of set where the with closed set, they play in a half court set where they kind of like let the Clippers get in their positions and spot. And with all those playmakers they have in the Clippers with all that depth and all the perimeter guys and the, and the size disadvantage as well that the um, Mavericks have, I think it can be a long series for the Mavericks that they kind of play the Clippers style. So I think the Clippers 
should be able to um, beat the Mavericks, but we, we never know. You know. Luka could go out there and go crazy, you know, score 40 a night or something like that. But we've seen people go out there and do that. Now, it depends on how you score. If you score in a way where you're ball hogging, it's not going to work. But you score in a way where everybody's eating, it's a 40 point triple double type stuff, it could work. But I think the Clippers have just more depth, more size, and they could probably get it done and probably find a way to win it. Um, another game, too, of course, the Pacers and the Bucks. Now, Bucks and the Pacers are going to be a good series. I think the Bucks win, though. The Pacers, very good offensive team. Like I mentioned, kind of like the Mavericks. They can go out there and, and put some points on you. But defensively, they're not really the most defensive team, which is crazy because some of the guys they have on the team can probably lock up and guard, you know, but they're not really the best defensive team. They go, they basically try to go out there and outscore their opponents. You know, Rick Carlisle, I believe he's still the coach, I'm not mistaken. I think he is, yeah. Rick Carlisle, um, go out there, you know, offensive style the approach they um have on that team and they went out there you know um and going out there and putting numbers up on people and the bucks i feel like the bucks kind of lost on purpose i don't know if this is a conspiracy or anything but the bucks kind of lost on purpose or this doc rivers just kind of messing them up now the only reason they could lose this series right here uh, I know the Pacers are a good team, but the only reason the Bucks could lose this series is Doc Rivers started tripping. If Doc Rivers started tripping and messing the sets up and not doing the rotations right, I can see the Bucks losing this. But overall, I think the Bucks had a better roster. They have Giannis, they have Dame Lillard, they have the two best players on the court. They're going to find a way to get it done. Now, um, another one, too, of course, Cavs and Magics. Cavs and Magics is going to be a good series as well. I think the, um, I think, I believe the Cavs, um, could have, could probably push this, uh, the, the series might go to, um, well, actually, I think the series probably go to six. Go to six, but I'm picking the Magic's to win. I think the Cavs can push it to six. They probably win the two home. They probably win one at home like that and win one on the roll. I think the Magic's is better defensively. The Magic's a team that plays scrappy. They they take your best attribute away from you. If you ever play, if you ever see the Magic's play, a lot, a lot of people don't look at them because they, they're like, oh, the Magic's not that good and stuff. People kind of kind of rip about the Magic's the past few years, but the Magic's the past two years have been a good team. You've been watching. They've been kind of getting up there, getting up there. And Paolo's been playing good basketball. Jonathan Isaac, a good defender around the perimeter as well. They have all these um, sneaky pieces. Jalen Suggs, all these guys who might not be household names, but guys who play good defense and guys who can play make, and they feisty as well. So I feel like they can be, they can out physical, um, play, they can be more physical than the Cavs, and just go out there and just, you know, beat them up, you know, and win the game. Next one is the Suns and Timberwolves. Suns and Timberwolves. I feel like um, that series right there is very interesting because Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards been playing at a high level. He's been playing at a phenomenal level. You know, he's been going out there and been like trying to put his, his case for being an MVP candidate this year. I think Jokic might win it for his third one, uh, or SGA could win one, his first one. But I think Anthony Edwards, the way he's been playing, has been um, just crazy. He's been playing off the charts. He reminds me of Dwayne Wade a little bit. His play style is very similar, very um, explosive. Explosive, getting to the rim, getting to the basket, and just he he got kind of like a, um, a sparker. I think, like, he, like he sparks the whole team. The whole team gets like is lit up. They go as he goes. And I think Anthony Edwards could go out there and probably defeat the Suns. But the Suns, hey, they got they got a stack roster. Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker. They got all these guys on the roster. Amazing players on this roster. Now, this series is a little hard to pick though. I I'm, I'm gonna go with the Timberwolves. I feel like they um they've been playing at a uh, very consistent level and longer longer consistent. More, more consistent than the, um, the Suns have been playing. But the Suns, I feel like they can – hey, they turn it on in the playoffs with those star players they have. They have, they have like – I think you, you probably can argue Eddie Edwards is probably the best player on the court now. You can say Kevin Durant, of course, Kevin Durant, legacy is one of the best, of course, but talking about this season alone, just talking about this season. This season, you can argue that Anthony Edwards is probably the best player on the court. But then after that, it's probably all Suns players. You probably – Kevin Durant and Booker. Um, you probably pick them where you want to pick them. Bradley Beal. Then you probably get the Carter Town. I think Carter Town might be in front of Bradley Beal, you know, in a sense, but – Really, when they, when, they, when they turn it on, they can be one of the um, most dynamic dynamic um, teams uh, and go out there and just score with the best of them. So it's going to be a very interesting series to see. But I'm taking the problem. I'm going to take the Timberwolves. I think Timberwolves will be uh, able to get the job done. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that one. But I'm going to get back to this game right here. The game I'll come back on with the Heat. And then the Pelicans and Kings game will come on too. I'm going to do those picks as well. Uh, most likely, I'm going to pick probably uh, the Thunder. I think the Thunder can beat the Pelicans or the Kings. And, the, and if the Heat win... Against the Celtics, I mean, he went against the Bulls. Now he and Celtics would have been great if Jim Butler was playing, but Jim Butler not there, so I don't know if the Heat be able to pull that one off. It'd be crazy if they did, but I don't think they'd be able to pull that one off. As a fan, you know, Heat fan, I want to see them do it. But as a um, you know, but as a what's the name though? As a um, like a you know, like looking as a real NBA, as an NBA fan first. You know, I'm a Heat fan, but NBA fan, the basketball fan. I think the Celtics will probably find a way to pull it off. Like that. now they don't. That'd be great for my fandom, but. I think the Celtics probably find a way to pull it off, you know, um, just too much firing power. Chris Barberzingis, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Derek White, Drew Holiday. They got a lot of guys, a lot of guys. Al Horford, a lot of guys who can go out there and just 
dominate you. So I really ain't got to do wait to the video. Really, I can really just say it now because I feel like the Celtics will beat the Bulls or the Heat like that as an NBA fan. Now as a Heat fan, I'm rooting for my Heat still, but as a fan I'm taking the on the delusional bifocals off, you know, like that, I think the Celtics probably get it. It probably hurt me saying it hurt me saying that really, but. This Celtics probably get it. And then um, the Thunder, I think the Thunder can beat the Kings or the Pelicans who are win that series. So that's my picks for the playoffs. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys um, probably tomorrow. If my Heat do win, you'll probably see a hype video tomorrow. But if they don't, then i just see you guys. When I see you, we'll probably be on some of the games, probably doing some short videos after the games of some of the games on Saturday, tomorrow. So just be on the lookout for that. But peace out.